Welcome guys to episode 561 of Minecraft and I'm using the armor stand mod. Now have you ever wanted to display your armor that you're not actually using or you just wanted to create nice little zombie peasants like I have over here? Um, the, I, I see that they're jittering with their little textures over there but uh, what we can do is we can actually uh, make them uh, not a stalker and uh, we'll actually make them stand still and I uh, will make this one actually not a stalker as well and he'll make we'll make him a player come make him a player so he'll look like me and uh, we'll use um, let's see we'll make him nothing all right and he won't be a stalker there we go so we just got the armor there and uh, I'll show you how to create these nice cool plates and uh, all you need to do is have some refined stone or some smooth stone and you need a stick to create the armor stand and uh, once you have the armor stand you go into a nice GUI like I have over here and uh, all you do is left click on it and uh, you can just go place in your armor in the slots wherever my armor may be uh, we'll use leather armor there we go and there we go and we place them in here and this is how it looks on default. Um, you can see that uh, the texture is kind of buggy, it's sort of f fuzzy, fuzzing around. It, uh, it stops after a while if you don't move your um, sort of camera. Uh, and um, you can change it to a character, which is your default Minecraft skin, followed by your actual player skin, then by to your zombie skin. And uh, then last but not least, you can change him to black and then nothing. Um, I don't know. I'm not quite sure why would you want it to be black, but uh, I have no idea. And you can turn on Stalker. And what Stalker does if you have zombies or a player enabled is that the uh, actual um, sort of player will look at you. Um, so let's see if we just uh, we'll go over here and take off some of our tools. Let's see what will happen then. This will be interesting. Ah, okay. There we go. So we get the nice little template and uh, you can just see him walking or looking around doing a 360 I think his next must be dislocated you can also change the different types of base plates say if you just place uh, ooh, I haven't tried sandstone so let's say yeah you can change it to sandstone and uh, I haven't experimented with the subsidian and yeah you can change it to any sort of block I tried it out with cobblestone and wood um, let's see some funky funky um, funkier ones there we go let's see if that works Yes, it does work. All right, so let's go. Let's go for the cactus and then a portal. And if that will work, we'll do a cake. Okay, uh, portal. Okay, okay. Now let's do a cake. There we go. Ah, oh, this is brilliant. This mod is absolutely amazing. Now, how's that for Inception? All right, but uh, if you place a lot of these stands, it actually crunches your frames per second, like I've noticed just then. It looks a little bit laggy, and also the um, sort of uh, graphical error, the flickering of the textures is kind of annoying. I also found that on the Pac-Man mod as well. I'm not quite sure what's up with that. I'm not sure if it's the mod's fault or Minecraft's fault, but uh, it sort of uh, decreases the quality of the mod. Okay, so I only have one Stalker iPod male, and uh, there he is. He's over there and wow that really killed my frames. So uh, I rate this mod a 7 out of 10 for loops The only thing that sort of uh, disappointed me was with the, the textures you can see that they're sort of flickering like that It's kind of annoying and uh, certainly decreases the quality of the mod and also the frames per second Although you are spawning a lot of entities. I have uh, say four five six seven seven entities And uh, what, what really was amazing is that you can actually place any base block I placed a cake as the base block and uh, that was pretty cool. Let's go shift underneath Amanda, say goodbye. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, have a nice day.